What's up, everyone? I'm the commissioner of Comedy Fight Club, Matt Marin, here with the spirit animal, Justin Lanza. Welcome to The Breakdown. We break down all the best fights Comedy Fight Club this week. Big main event coming up, Dan Abraham versus Adam Gable. Dan Abraham ranked number 12 in the rankings now. Adam Gable, former champion. With the win in this fight, he would probably step into the rankings. Good battle this week, Justin. How are you feeling going into the main event? I feel, uh, I feel good. You know, I've, I've got to say... Uh, I've, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put some, some stock in Adam Gable's corner. He's got the, uh, he's got the funny voice. Funny voice. Funny voice goes a long way. Last time he was a fight club, he won against Isabel Hagen. Mike, play the clip of Isabel describing Adam Gable's voice so our listeners can hear. Man, you sound like you deep throated a sandpaper covered dick. <laughs> <laughs> Adam looks like he offers terrible life advice at the end of the night with a mop in his hands. <laughs> Great joke. Isabel Hagen beat Adam Gable last time he was at Fight Club. He's facing Dan Abraham. He does have a very uh, Tom Waitsy voice. Yeah, very... Uh, pe some people will say gravelly. I would say more bouldery for going with rocks. Bouldery. Bouldery, yeah. yes. I like bouldery. Yeah. I know you're all thinking, just what comedy needs, another creepy white dude with a grating voice. But Isabel is actually a chick. <laughs> despite, lo despite looking like David Spade with a thicker mustache. Oh, Isabel, you partially deflated sex doll. It's like you once got cast in The Sound of Music and you liked the look, so you kept it. <laughs> Isabel's a musical prodigy. At 14, she was first chair in the Hitler Youth Orchestra. <laughs> Adam Gable facing Dan Abraham leaped into the rankings at number 12 last week after defeating another former champion, Jake Vevera. Oh, yes. Dan Abraham, you know, not a, not a mighty looking fella, but really, really bringing the secret heat. Yes, uh, very Jewy looking. Yeah, he's got the he's got the sunken chest of a coward. Yes, and but the last, heart of a lion. Heart of a lion. Last time he faced Jake Vever, who brought up his Jewiness. Uh, I don't know if I hate his face more because of the Jewiness or the smugginess. He looks like the one prisoner in Schindler's List I rooted against. <laughs> I don't agree with the Third Reich on much, but he has a very gassable face. Very gassable. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. Uh. Very interesting strategy, Jake Vavra, during Hanukkah, calling his opponent, uh, uh, saying his opponent uh, has a gassable face. Yes, really going the extra mile. You know, he recognizes the uh, the hotness of the times, yes. and he capitalizes on that moment. Always good to be topical. Yes, it's always good strategy. Yeah, when 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 a time, when a place, when something is presented to you as thick and as juicy as Hanukkah. And you have someone as Jewish as an opponent as Dan Abraham. You've really got to capitalize on those moments. If you don't capitalize on those moments, that's really what separates a great battle from a not so great battle. I agree. Yeah. Uh, and it was a great battle. Jake came up just short in the end. Dan won. Jake served two tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. The army actually played Jake's comedy over loudspeakers, so Iraqis would kill themselves before strapping on the bombs. <laughs> Thank you for serving. I'm sorry Trump made you leave because you're transgender. Uh, uh, his time in the army actually did give him PTSD, perky tits, small dick. <laughs> He actually, truthfully, he brought a gun and opened fire on the entire crowd of his bar show. Nobody was injured. <laughs> if I can be honest, the tone of his voice, I think, tells us a lot about what we need to know about Dan Abraham. Yes. <laughs> about his appearance, about his beliefs, about his familial background. Yes. And he is now facing former champion Dan Abraham, uh, Adam Gable, rather. And uh, this week, our guest official... It's going to be Chris from Brooklyn. It's the first time we're having a repeat guest official. Mm. First time somebody's been a guest official Fight Club twice. And we have a clip from the last time he was there. He had just uh, gotten up after Dino Martino had a battle against Sabrina Piper. We have a clip of Chris from Brooklyn as our guest official last time at Fight Club. Dino versus Sabrina. It was great to see a fat set of tits against Sabrina Piper. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dino looks like a gypsy that forgot they could curse themselves thinner. <laughs> Always fun when the guest officials come up with better material than the people who had all week to prepare. That's right. That's why they are the guest officials, and they don't have to fight. They've hung up their knuckles, 
and they just wait and they and they and they get to be the gods. Yes. Uh, so that is this week Comedy Fight Club. Dan Abraham, number twelve in the Comedy Fight Club rankings, Ooh. versus former champion Adam Gable. Main yeah. event guest official Chris from Brooklyn. Thank you all for listening to the breakdown. I'm the commissioner Matt Marin, and I am the spirit animal Justin Lanza.